We're now going to factor or graph factorable polynomials. So we're going to start with the example f of x equals x times x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x plus 2. And there's a couple of things that we need to be able to graph. First, we need to know end behavior. Second, we need to know the y-intercept. Third, we need to know the zeros with their multiplicities. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at end behavior first. And when we have a term like this, we just look at the leads of all of them, and we multiply these all together, and we get a positive x to the fourth. So the end behavior is positive as x approaches infinity. And since it's even, it's also positive as x approaches minus infinity. So it's going to be positive over here and positive over here for end behavior. The y-intercept we get by plugging in 0, and that's real easy because we got this term right here. So the y-intercept is at the point 0, 0, which means it's also one of our zeros. We get a 0 at minus 1, at 1, and at minus 2, and because all of the degrees are 1, they're all multiplicity 1, which means they pass through. So I'm going to use blue dots on my zeros to show that it passes through. So a minus 1, a 0, a 1, and a minus 2. So we know that our graph is positive to the right and positive to the left and that it passes through as it gets to each of these points. So as I come from the right it's going to start over here somewhere and it's going to pass through this point and then it's going to come back up and pass through this point and then pass through this point and then pass through this. Notice that my end behavior is kept. They're both positive on the right. It passed through each of the zeros which is what we were expecting and we get our graph. And this is as exactly as precise as I expect your graphs to be. I expect your zeros to be right. I expect these end behavior pieces to be right. And as long as that's all true and that it bounces through and passes correctly, and you have your y-intercept correct, then you've done a good enough job of graphing. I don't need it to be any more precise than that. We don't need to do any point plotting here. Let's look at our next one. Suppose we have g of x equals minus 2 times x minus 1 squared times x plus 3 times x minus 4. Well, the first thing is end behavior. And again, we multiply all the x's out. We get 2, 3, 4. So we have an x to the fourth. But this time, it's a negative 2x to the fourth. So it's actually going to be negative as x approaches infinity. And since it's even, it's also going to be negative as x approaches minus infinity. So we're going to be down here in the negative ranges. Our y-intercept, we plug in 0. That gives us a minus 2 times a minus 1 squared times a 3 times a minus 4. Well, minus 1 squared is just 1 times 3 times minus 4. That gives me 8 24, so it's going to be way up here. And so let's make all of our tick marks equal to 6, just, or let's make them equal to 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So there's my y-intercept. And that way it sits on the graph that we can see it. The x tick marks, we're still going to leave at 1. And so for our x tick marks, notice that we have a 1, a minus 3, and a 4. But here we've got a multiplicity 2, a multiplicity 1, and a multiplicity 1. So these are bounces, or sorry, these are pass-throughs. And this is our first bounce that we're going to look at. So we're going to mark our blue marks. We've got a 1, a minus 3, and a 4. So those are our x-intercepts at 1, which will bounce because it's multiplicity 2, a minus 3, which will pass through because it's multiplicity 1, and a 4, which it will pass through because it's multiplicity 1. Well, again, remember, our end behavior says that on this side, we're coming from the bottom, and we're going to pass through, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to bounce, and then it's going to go way up here to the 24, 
and it looks like it's going to do something like this. And when it gets to the minus 3, it's going to pass through and go down again. Notice that my end behavior matched. It lined up. My x-intercepts, my zeros are correct, and my y-intercept, I went through it to get my graph. And this is exactly as perfect as you need to be when you are graphing factorable polynomials.